This MX Master 3S mouse is the best mouse for video editing. With seven programmable shortcuts and five gestures, you can add video editing shortcuts that help you edit faster, easier, and more enjoyable. Hi, I'm George with Video Loadout. I'm a professional video editor, and I've spent years editing videos for local businesses, all the way up to billion dollar companies like PSA and TikTok. And I want to emphasize to all the other video editors out there that speed and efficiency are a top priority for not only me, but so many production companies that I've worked with. In the past, I've used several different video editing mice, but this mouse simply is the best if you set it up right. I'm going to share exactly how I personally customize this mouse with all of my shortcuts and gestures. I'll also explain why the build of this mouse is so useful, and I'll go over all the important features of this mouse that make it perfect for video editing. Even if you own this mouse and you left it on the default customization settings, you're missing out on tons of shortcuts that are super helpful to get you started editing way easier. But next up, before I go into my shortcuts, I'm going to go over the features of this mouse. And at any point in the video where you want to check out this mouse for yourself, there's a link in the video description and the top pinned comment as well. All right, here's five key features of this MX Master 3S mouse. This mouse has seven programmable buttons. Also five different programmable gestures. A lot of people aren't utilizing the gestures to get more programmable shortcuts for their video editing and they're missing out. Three, with the Logi Options Plus software, you can customize presets for different applications so you can have custom shortcuts and gestures depending on what software you're using. That is super convenient. So not only is this gonna be super helpful to increase the speed on your editing, but this is a productivity mouse. So when you're switching to different applications, even Google Chrome, Safari, it's gonna automatically help you use these fast, speedy features that once you start using them, you simply won't be able to go back. Four, the build is top notch. Ergonomically, it fits my hand better than any other mouse. Also, I didn't see this coming. The quiet click for someone who doesn't like loud, annoying clicking noises. That is another reason I cannot go back. Listen to the clicking sound of the MX Master 2S. Now listen to the clicking sound of the MX Master 3S. Now you also notice I use the MX keys keyboard. I bought this long before the 3S actually. I just needed a Bluetooth keyboard, no complaints. It's solid, every key is where it needs to be, but it's also low profile. I don't like the clacking, clicking sound of keyboards. Some gamers or content creators enjoy that. I despise it. So having this quiet click as well, I'm super happy with that low profile, low sound. Don't notice it, focus on my work. In fact, you can actually buy this keyboard and mouse together. There's a bundle. Um, I'll link that below the mouse. There's a reason you've seen these keyboards. There's a reason you've seen these, these mice everywhere in videos of your favorite content creators and video editors. They're just super solid pieces of equipment, but not everybody customizes them to the max. And the fifth feature, this is important to you, 8K DPI, which I really don't care about, kind of overkill for me, but it's a responsive mouse and I can feel good about using it. All right, here's what you've been waiting for. Here's exactly how I customize the MX Master 3S mouse to edit way faster. Let's head to my PC and get started. All right, you see your mouse on the screen. I'm gonna go ahead and click the MX Master 3S. Now, if you see, I have shortcuts for Premiere Pro, After Effects, and After Effects Beta. For you, since you don't have them yet, you're gonna click right here at Add Application. And then you could just go ahead and pick the application that you would like. We're gonna go in Premiere Pro, most important for this video. What makes this mouse useful is when you customize it to navigate the timeline at blazing fast speed. In order to do that, use the shortcuts that I'm currently using. So first off, one of the things we do most is deleting stuff on your editing timeline. Simple way to do that is to have your shortcut be right here on the scroll wheel. When you press down, it has a button on the scroll wheel to delete. Look at your keyboard, the backspace is all the way over here. You don't wanna lift either hand. You wanna be in a good flow. You wanna be able to efficiently edit your timeline. And so in order to have one hand on the mouse, one hand on the keyboard as much as possible, I rarely lift my one of my hands. First, super helpful shortcut is have the backspace be right there on the scroll wheel. For the two side buttons, Another thing we do is little meticulous changes, including moving a clip one or two frames to the right or left. Here's how you do that super easily with your mouse right here. So in order to change this, once you click on the actual button on the mouse that you want to change, 
this will pop up. You're going to click keyboard shortcut. And then when you click in here, you can exit out whatever you have that's in there. And then for me, it was alt left. And on the other button, I had the opposite. Now we can move things very slightly, one frame at a time even, very easily. Now you may have heard about this mouse because of the scroll wheel. I thought this was going to be a nice feature. Turns out slightly moving the timeline with the scroll doesn't speed up your workflow that much. It's not that big of a deal. But here's what I did. I changed the keyboard shortcut for when you move the scroll wheel, it's simply up or down. So here's what it looks like at Premiere Pro. So instead of moving your hand from the mouse to the keyboard, down, 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 down. Now, with my hand on the scroll wheel, go from clip to clip. Isn't that helpful? Super fast. You're doing this every day. This is a game changer. Now you're navigating your timeline way smoother than before. All right, let's go back to the Logi Options software. This little button right here on the top of the mouse, I have it as backslash key. I'm usually zoomed in to the max on my timeline. You know, doing those meticulous edits, simple way to navigate the timeline, click that button, zoom out to the entire sequence. Super convenient, helps you navigate, go to different parts of your edit super fastly, ah, super quickly. I use this every day when I edit. So we're actually going to be using the scroll wheel. And now remember, we mapped it to up and down. And now by just pressing control on my keyboard, it's control up and control down, which allows me to do a completely new keyboard shortcut for I could use on Premiere Pro. Super useful. And so that what makes up for the lack of buttons on this mouse. Simple. So now in our timeline, I have one layer selected. As you can see, with my left hand, I'm pressing control. With my right hand, I'm just raising on the scroll wheel. See? See how fast I can do that too? And then I let go, move it to the left or right using these buttons, but you know, back to the scroll wheel. Control, up and down. Super useful if you're editing every day. This makes the 80% of the most of what you do in your Premiere Pro editing program, this makes it way more efficient. So now to kind of the futuristic, exciting part of this video, the gestures. Now it's important to remember that there's actually a button right here by my thumb. And the gesture click is one of my favorite shortcuts. It is simply enter. How many times do you press enter? And how many times would you have to move your hand in order to lock in a keyframe, lock in a position? And I also use this not just in Premiere Pro now on Google Chrome, you know, I'm typing in something, press enter. I change the file name without moving my hand. Super, super, super easy. Like seriously, I got this green color mat from 100 to 55, right? So instead of having to move my hand from my mouse to press enter, my hand's still on my mouse, press enter, voila. You're gonna do that a thousand times a day, now you can do it a thousand times easier. So for the first gesture, move up, I have that to reveal and project. This is something I do a lot to find the original layer in the project, one of my most used shortcuts, so I'm gonna add it to my mouse. So select the layer, that I'm looking to find, simply hold the gesture button and slide your mouse forward. Boom. It automatically pops up in my project folder, the layer in which I was looking for. Another one of my favorite keyboard shortcuts using the gestures is gesturing down. What that does in Premiere Pro, something I do a lot is I nest a lot of clips. So holding down, nested sequence one. And remember, I don't have to move my hand, press enter, simply on the mouse, enter. Just nested sequence, in a second. Leave a comment if I forgot a shortcut that's super useful that you're going to use on your mouse. I'll just show some love on the video for I could keep making helpful content like this for video editors. Now, when it comes to gesturing left and right, to be honest, I haven't even set that up yet. So this would be a good time to let me know what I should put for gestures left and right. I'm not going to remember every keyboard shortcut. That's the exact reason why I didn't choose a mouse with 20 different shortcuts on the mouse. I can't remember that. So quickest way to do this for yourself is to copy my shortcuts on the Logitech software and then go into the keyboard shortcuts and change these specific shortcuts. So what you want to do is you want to hit edit on Premiere Pro keyboard shortcuts. This opens up your window for all your shortcuts. You can see everything mapped out on your keyboard, starting with shortcuts that you don't need to change on Premiere Pro because they're already the standard shortcuts. On the wheel button, 
backspace, you don't need to change anything in Premiere Pro. Same thing with this top button. The backslash key should already be the zoom out to your timeline. So you just need to press them and copy me and type in backslash key. Next up, our scroll wheel. Scroll up is down. Scroll down is up. For the scroll wheel, it's already automatically go to previous edit point is up and go to next edit point is down. All right, here's where we got to customize. But remember by pressing control on our keyboard, no longer just down, it's control down. It's no longer up, it's control up. I put the scroll wheel up with the clip selected. I'm going to nudge selected object up by one on the timeline. And the opposite is true right here. So make sure you press this and type control down or two side buttons. For this left button, alt left, you just type in nudge, nudge clip selection, left one frame. Alt right on the other button, nudge clip selection, right one frame. Next up, type one frame into your keyboard shortcuts. For step back one frame, add shift plus backslash key. That way you can utilize your top button while holding shift to move one frame back in Premiere Pro. And to step forward one frame, press control backslash key. All right, next is our gestures. For the click, all you have to do is type in enter. You don't have to change anything for Premiere Pro. Obviously enter is still just enter. Move your mouse up. I have it as reveal and project. For gesture down, I have two to nest and that's it. So there you are, you have now mastered the MX Master 3S mouse and now you are much closer on your way to mastering video editing itself. So if this convinced you, to get the mouse for yourself, why not use the link below? Help this channel out as well. I definitely recommend this mouse to every video editor and even more to set it up correctly. I showed you my keyboard, I showed you my mouse. You can also check out every piece of video editing gear I own on my desk setup video. If you want some more helpful video editing content, simply check out the channel. Tons of free, amazing content to help you become a better video editor, make better videos, get paid more doing it. Good luck on your future edits and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.